there's no change. If you do this locked out and you stop these these people and you and you feel like okay this is what it is like i mean i'm all for him protecting the people against covid i'm all for that and he does have a difficult job to do i understand that as well but why tell us then though that this is causing violence that this is the when and he played dub plays. Didn't he have dub plays <laughs> playing for Well, he had was... one of the most violent songs. I say, yo, um, government badness. But again, as you said, the prime minister job is a difficult job. It I personally difficult. thank him for taking on this task. You understand? Because it is something that he volunteered to do, right? Knowing the difficulties that exist. In the same way, me a volunteer and other people volunteer. But I am grateful for his efforts. You know, me, me agree with his outcomes. Me, but but me no say, I don't think he has negative intent. I don't think nobody come and start to say, you know what, I want to mash up the country. But I'm looking at and I'm saying, yo, I agree with this, I agree with that. No, Jamaica is known for a little game that has trained us to blame somebody else. It's called Who Stole the Cookie from the Cookie Jar? He said, Who me? Yes, you couldn't be. Then okay. you do. Number nine stole the cookie. So when the pressure gets to the prime minister, the prime minister don't want to say, I am failing. So he started to look for who to be blamed. If you look on everything, if you look on COVID, when it was good, he said, I'm great. When it become bad, he said, the people are in discipline. So when the people start to say, yo, where is the crime plan? And this will get out of hand and women are dead and picnic are dead. And the thing is crazy. He now is seeking to say, number nine stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who me? No. Number 10 stole the cookie. So it is a natural human activity to blame somebody else. And because dancehall has been the constant scapegoat, even for COVID, they come on TV all the time to say these illegal parties are causing the spread. When the Ministry of Health says that 8% of the people that got COVID said they get it from a social event, 34% said they get it from a job, and 30 something percent said they get it from the bus, the public transport. Yet they continue to claim that illegal party is the reason. So it's just a scapegoat because everybody wants to say, I am not to be blamed. And, and the entertainment industry must defend itself because if you become the constant scapegoat, then the public will resist whenever there is a reason to help the industry. The public are going to resist if there's a reason to build a venue. The public are going to resist if there's a reason to give COVID relief. The public are going to resist because the public has now been trained to despise entertainment as a source of negativity. But we're not stupid, though. Does he not understand, like, on the outside looking in, if, it, if I was there in power, the first thing I would have done, lock off, it, and unfortunately I would have to, is the airport because the tra COVID didn't start in Jamaica. It was had to have been brought in, you know, whether a tourist or, or whatever or, or what, whatsoever. So... Why do the, the, the effect of the voice of the people? Because as I know what reggae is, reggae is the voice of the people. So why would he break down the voice of the people? Is it only his voice that should be heard? Because he said something. And, and I'm just asking. I'm not listening because you yeah. know I, I know he gets a little upset when people talk about him. <laughs> but I know me I hide, me hide right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, and, and 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 I thought about that too. I thought about, but I know you're you're not you're not stopping because you no, know this no, is an opportunity. No, no. You know, like you're but, but from. yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> it's just common sense to me, like that. You know, right now flights could uh, flights could still come in from yes America and 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 wherever else to the island so the people that it's affecting is his own people it's the people of his island the, the people that he needs to govern the people that he needs so does he not see does he not understand does he not you know no well Wiz, he understands very well but what has happened is that the people that you need to win elections are the people who fund elections because the other people who are the majority take money to vote. And so because you need the people who fund the elections, 
most of your policies, most of your arguments, most of your comments are going to be geared towards those people as versus the majority who are willing to take a five grand. So no matter how you treat them bad, when election come, them take five grand and jump on a bandwagon, whether it's green or orange. And so the majority of politicians, therefore, project their opinions towards those who are able to give you enough five grands for them to win. So if I should enter an election right now, I've never seen $50 million in my life. You understand? But if yeah. me, I will get 10,000 votes. Me need $50 million to give 10,000 people $5,000 each. I have to go to somebody who have $50 million. Therefore, when me become powerful, me have to make sure that that man give me $50 million next time again. Because if him vex with me, me now I'll get the $50 million. So what the people have done is to sell them rights to have power over the prime minister and power over the politician for $5,000. Now, $5,000 for five years is $1,000 a year. 12 months, $87 a month. 30 days, that sounds like about 20 cents a day. Or 20 cents an hour. So when you really check this out, the people have been selling themselves for 10 cents an hour. And then the Jamaican policy, whether it is foreign exchange, whether it is GCT, whether it's taxes, whether it's good school and bad school, whether it's good hospital and bad hospital, those things are directed towards the wealthy because they are the ones that win elections. Oh, so the poor people who vote, them vote don't count? Because them, 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 them take five grand. They don't vote based on policy. Hey, I see some poor people that jump up and I say no taxes, thank God. They never pay tax yet. When they say no taxes, it means no better school. When they say no taxes, it means no better hospital. The person who's fairly wealthy, I mean, now I'm going to tell a lie for myself. May I make a money now? Vote, I sell, everything good. You understand? People are drink manish water, people are eat curry good. So, I mean, may I sell egg, may I, may I make a money? But better than my father, 10 times financially. So, mm -hmm. when we're looking at life, I can avoid most of government. You know, I mean, I use government hospital unless it's an emergency, like my crash or something, God forbid. So, I'm not for public. Right? I now have to go yes. government school, a prep school, and then eventually I go to the best high schools, and then I'm putting the gaff fire. You understand? The only thing I have to use is government road. You ever realize the road are the thing that fix the most? School no fix, yeah. hospital no fix, but road fix is the only part of government the rich can't avoid. And the poor keep demonstrating for road. I've never seen them demonstrate for school. I've never seen them demonstrate for hospital. But the rich don't need government hospital, and we don't need government schools. Because we can avoid those by paying our money. So are you are you saying the people them are speaking out against the wrong thing or they're not speaking for the right thing? They not speak for the right thing because they have embraced all the things that's bad for them. Anything was bad for people, them embrace it. They start to hook it up and say, yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, how can I election based on shows? When time you have got school, we have 2% chance of getting five something. How can it be based on shoes when your industries are being affected by government? Now, I don't say Uber come. What that mean for taxis? A Jamaican taxi, what that mean when Uber come? And what's the policy to protect it? So when we look into these things, we have said to the people, yo, why is it that the, 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 the people who most need government are the least concerned about what government is saying and what government is doing. You just want to know you have a bad dub plate. Me yeah, never put no dub plate in and me know enough artists. But me just defeat said election can't be about dub plate. The election yeah. have to be about oh, where I say about, about how come a musician I say, yo, men in a politics. All right. But where I say about my industry though? Where I say about nice abatement? Where I say about locking off my party two o'clock when time you, 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 the people just are reach one o'clock. You ever said they don't yeah. care about the shoes they look good. So the people have become enemies of themselves. And so yes. you find that communities are celebrate violence. And I said, I come from Badman Place. And then they realize that when you come from Badman Place, the assets are reduced. The shoes downtown are for sell for cheaper than the shoes uptown. The same exact shoes. One time, yeah, my friend used to go uptown, try on the shoes, and then go downtown and buy it. Because you know, if you look on a shoes two times, a be a rush, so you have to know you know exactly where you want. Right? right. The house in a water house, the same exact house are cheaper than the house in a in a in a um in a mona. 
Mm-hmm. And the youth are trying to get a job from Tivoli. I'm going to have a more difficult time if you have more subject than the youth are trying to get a job from Jackson. That's because risk reduce value. And the people now embrace living in risky places. I embrace bleaching out them skin and them not selling a bleaching cream. A billion of dollars are selling a bleaching cream and a Chinese are selling it. And the black man are bleach. And then they realize that that's a leakage. A funeral in Jamaica is $500,000. And we are killing a thousand people a year. So you yeah. look on that, that a $500 million come out of the ghetto. To funeral from murder. $500 million and then we're poor. And we're broke. Tony Mataran. <laughs> Tony Mataran has joined the live. <laughs> Good night, people. Good night, good night, good night. <laughs> Mat- Mataran, you're over late. Over late, over late, over late, over late. That's over a starting, go man. A start time. That, that's a starting. That's the starting. <laughs> yeah, Tanya yeah. has an excuse. She's <laughs> talking traffic. <laughs> yeah, you hear the minister say? Don't start two o'clock and people have gone one o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Me reach around. Yeah. <laughs> you reach yeah. No, I was, no, I was listening. You know, I was bringing in the grocery, but me that listen. Yeah. Um. Okay. Where, uh, Mr. Crawford said, and he's five million percent right. Okay. Because that's how it is. It's it's like that in yard and abroad. You know, mm-hmm. people don't vote for policies. Them just jump. If you are giving them money, them vote. <laughs> and that and then it turns back around to aunt them in the near future because you don't vote for policies you have to vote for policies you know what i'm saying so it's just part of life and we have to just live with it you make some choices that were wrong but at the time you think them right yeah it's just but, like the entertainer of them remember me in a talk nice enough I know to articulate myself and talk properly, but when you come from forum, when we talk we're real thing, we just get real. And the entertainment fraternity, them, as, as Mr. Crawford said, him never did up play. You see it, same one, come round, come beat them. They make it look like entertainment is the, the problem in our infrastructure at Jamaica. Actually, entertainment saves us more time. Because I remember in a PJ time, PJ Patterson, when the country did get really violent, PJ Patterson reached out to the entertainment fraternity. And that's when the crime rate went down, you know. When the dance hall fraternity them start going to the inner city garrison them and intertwine with so called bad men, start do the dances them. Less crime was in Jamaica. That was the lowest crime Jamaica ever had when you have the uptown Mondays, that Mondays, pasta, pasta, weddy, weddy. Remember, say PJ reached out to we, you know, and we said, all right, here we're going to go on. We're going at the, the areas, them, the inner city garrison, them, and we go to the generals, them, and we say, here we Party, we say, you know. You notice those days was the less crime in Jamaica ever. Because the music heals us. So, how oh, you have to fight against the music when it's the music of the, the backbone of Jamaica? It's not we marijuana, are we? We, we rice and peas, because Asian people can't cook rice and peas, so it may not look like our one, but. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's with music. Yeah. The, the music brings us to places where, I mean, it's out there. So, we have to embrace our culture. So, so Mr. Crawford, Mataran, what, what am I missing here? There, there is nobody in this in this world in this cannot say they they don't enjoy reggae music. They don't enjoy. Now he's in a place where it is. It is the culture. It's every day. He drives to work. He, he's going to hear on the radio. He, he's going to see somebody with music here and there. He drives. Why hit the core of the nucleus of this island 
the, the people and so much rippling effects, as Mr. Crawford stated, the hair salons, the hotels, because people come to enjoy the culture. When they came to um, Arras, are fully loaded, or whatever, people flew all over the world for these events. It's these events, the yeah. Sun Fest, the state, it's these events. So why would, why would a man who knows, all right, yes, he wants to curve this this virus and and i i see with him with that but I, what i'm not seeing is that i see leakage of videos of different various resorts where everybody's enjoying themselves mask free everybody are, 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 are fun but with, so, with, i am proof of that every single week my birthday was my every single week i've been partying in Florida, but just come back from Atlanta this um, Saturday. I'm off to Chicago. Me not see nobody in the And look at this something not had up, you know, in a map book for the past seven months. Florida and Atlanta been hosting parties. Um, they recently have um, All Star Weekend in Atlanta, right? You know, much people that generate Super Bowl was in February. Mr. Graham, so much people that generate. And look at this. This is what I find impossible. All right, let's do Jamaican term, terminology. Let's say we kept um, a whole festival weekend in Ochi Rios. You see how small Ochi Town is, but yet still we have 3 million people in Jamaica and everybody from around Jamaica would come to Ochi for that weekend. That was what happened in, in Tampa. Tampa is a small city in America, you know, compared to certain cities, say Chicago, New York. Tampa is a small city. Bear in mind, they kept Super Bowl there. Look how much hundreds of thousands, millions of people were. Matter on him, him, him wife. Nah, yeah, yeah, Tony. Nah, nah yeah, yeah. But what, what is, as Tony has said, my king, um, the Prime Minister and the government had the opportunity to say what is important. That's what they had. Because they said everything can lock down. So what is important will remain open. You hear me? Yeah, I, I think we, I'm hearing you, but I don't think Tony's hearing us at all. Yeah, they're Tony now hearing none at all. Look like Tony mute. Yeah, no, you're mute, Tony. Check your, check your... So, so what may I say, my king? The Prime Minister had the ability to say what is important to the society. For example, yes. race has remained open. Yes. So, so race house is important as far as he's concerned. The hotel remained open. So that is important. No, I'm not saying that these things should be open or dancers should be open because again, we have a spike on his lives. We have 15 people dead today. So a man might say, I prioritize life, but a person can see inequity within these things. If entertainment now open, you have a duty to subsidize the people who participate within the industry. Like all America have stimulus check, for example, or Canada or England have stimulus check. You have a duty to subsidize the people who are negatively affected what? by the actions that you're taking. Tony is back. So, so, so that, that is the thing that you have said church not important, but race is important. You, you understand? I, I, I wanted to get there. I wanted to get there. Funeral important, don't, don't but get, wedding important. But don't get there yet. Don't get yeah. there. Don't, don't yeah. get there. Okay. Mr. Yeah. Lord, um, Wiz and myself and the whole world, we touch you when you come out to the party. So we don't really want to get the party. We want to get yeah. some more important stuff out there. Like, for instance, we can't tell, even if Mr. Crawford was the man in charge, we pretty much can't tell you how to run the country. True. But to each one teaches one. We all run the country. Um, mm -hmm. we, we all run the country. And Jamaica, our bread and butter, our life. It's just that we have to give and take. Because there are two sides to the kind, you know. Some of them people at Jamaica, them, them go on too much too, you know. Them overdo themselves, you know. So we now... We now put no prisoners. Some of the people in my Jamaica, the citizens, them, them don't know how to act. So them overdo themselves, so to speak. But at the same breath, you cannot be locking down 
a third world country like ours without any incentive, without any monetary funds coming in, it not going to work. You can't follow to Wiz up a Canada say, Oh, I'm a lockdown Canada. Wiz can't afford for lockdown Canada because they have only for fields and fields of food. They have only for things storage. We cannot afford to follow certain first world country and go down the road where they are going. We cannot go down that road as long as they can. So we have to have some stuff. <laughs> what and when it's just like you have a on and me have one of the Ferrari yes I can drive along the road with me but when me 200 miles per hour you cannot follow me down that road because your car is not 200 miles your car is going to go one and a half stops so we cannot follow England, Canada and America and do what is been done and that's what we are seeing our leaders doing you are playing follow the leader no we not follow people people follow we look about with Talawa. but so, tony tony mm -hmm. you yeah, say the people them are overdo it but there's never been a time and never been a place where inequity not get resisted and fairness not get resisted so when you check it out me can go recreation at a hotel but a man who can't afford a hotel, his recreation is an event. If him right. say him can't, he might go say that an inequity. So he might go resist that. Because remember, you know, recreation is a necessary part of living, you know. Otherwise, you're mad, you know. You're the man. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. Why you think so, we have to come up? Um, we need to adjust the part the way the man is. Man, man kill after woman. Understand that. They don't understand. It's temporary psychotic behavior is being plagued in Jamaica. These people are temporary psychotic. So are you saying mental health is a main issue yes. right now? Yes. All right. Look at this. We could do plain, natural Jamaican dialect. Imagine a man locked down with him, woman. For the whole lockdown time. Remember, this man probably have all a little girl out there when they want to talk to as a friend. He can't chat to her. And he might feel watching phone. If he ever text, she they run on shoulder. So you see, pass more problems. <laughs> And then the lockdown with somebody. And you have to be realistic. A lot of people in Jamaica are locked down with somebody who they don't want locked down with. They never want locked down with a smuddy that's so long. They like you, but they don't want to tolerate you so long. You know, like you got family yard. Don't want to you welcome. So imagine you're locked down with somebody like that for long. And, and the person are going to talk to each other. You know, she say, no money now run. And the man goes and say, why? I have a little buy a strip. And the woman go to run it, rush him and say, Your walk list like, go look at work. Where am I going to look at work? The place locked down. And she go to say, Yeah, walk list boy. You see, that triggers anger. Argument. Argument now, reach now. Families are going to be in and locked down with that woman where miserable. Or the woman locked down with a little e that boy where a bad about her. And these things develop a, a temporary psychotic behavior. That's why people are really ignorant. You have to let them out. You can't just cage them like animals. The last time I checked, our inmates, I call on, you know. Mr. Crawford, I'm sorry to say, yes. inmates in our own cell block. Well, me, me lock down too, but what I say is, remember, you know, that if you study Jamaican culture, even from the corner, it's because of house discomfort. So enough man from morning, him leave out of the house and him depend on the road and him go in Run very late in the night. Because the house is uncomfortable. Now, if you look on an 800 square foot house with seven people in there, and a one bedroom with four people or three picnic, you have to find says that discomfort is an uncomfortable place. And you really leave that crime. Correct, correct. So when you when you're uncomfortable now, you become annoyed and 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 it leads to criminal activity. Yeah, because look at this. If you and your lady get up. You could call with our matter and say, what are you doing? I could lick some domino. I could knock some domino. I could play some loody. So you could have passed the time with us and away from the nagging. Now, imagine a man where he can't pass the time because he cannot leave his house and the woman have pressure him and he not have nowhere to walk. Go. He man have got have an altercation within seconds. But matter and imagine when six people share a bed. That, that me I say. So it they reach altercation, it's just discomfort. My group where a chair we are share a bed. 
and me have to sleep like a soldier. So imagine 24 hours trying to sleep like a soldier. Attack. And then I'm a cable, then I'm a, so, so the luxury that the rich have in a lockdown, when you can buy a month grocery, right? It don't exist for the poor. The luxury when you can watch three TV. So if you don't want to watch that, you watch something else. Really? Yeah. Yeah. If you have one TV fight, I got one with eight people, you know. Everybody want to watch something different. You, 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 you understand? So therefore, once you understand the realities of your society, you have to make rules as matter and say you can't follow the next man because his society have different realities. Yeah, just like you said, if you have um, enough food to love um, in your story for the whole lockdown, for the weekend, you might have enough food, but I don't. Right. So If cash partner play some man not eating them. Right? Sure. And if a man not get a roast out of him taxi, he not eat. If a girl, and if a lady not do ear. So that's why I'm saying this lockdown is me it, it was necessary, but to the to the um we are all they were locking down Jamaica was unorthodox. One, you cannot lock down people every minute and didn't give them chances to reach food, even a beer in Canada. The white beer up in Canada, they hibernate, right? But before they hibernate, they have months where they store berries and all these things in their little cave. You can't lock down people and you not give them no food. You don't have no food to give them. Then where them are going to lock down and eat? The wind? Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Are, are, are kids allowed to go to school? Or is, is, it, is it as bad as that? The school's locked down? Is, is... Yeah, the schools are closed. Because remember, you know, it's a hub and spoke system. So, like, like for example, Miami is a hub for airports, right? So, all of the people who come to Jamaica, them head into Miami from different places like Wisconsin and Ohio and wherever, and then them come to Jamaica. So, the virus them, is, is, is anti-hub. You know why no hub? Because if, if 10 people go to a school and then go to 10 different communities, yes. one person would have then impact the rest of the communities. Yes. So, therefore, you decide you have a lockdown school. But if that is a necessary decision, you have to then come now with the 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 the, 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 the other side of the coin to say we are gonna well, make sure so we can learn. Correct. Uh -huh. So therefore, when you look on the learning now, we're only looking on half of the problem because we're saying, oh, we are give them computer, we are give them computer. Fine, that's half of the problem. But some people live with a mother who never pass nine grade, right? And like who live with me, we're going to masters and doctor and all kind of thing. You know, my, my, my four sisters and me can teach a whole of them pick me on every subject. But some people live with a mother who can't read. Then the computer. So what about that negative? And how do you intervene? So from a long time, I tell them, if we now have 30% of our children can board, we in a problem. But nobody was listening to these reasoning because them only want a bun and cheese. Them only want a slice of bread and a slice of cake. But so, if you don't have a system where you can board some children, even the crime, when a 14-year-old fall a gang, how you going to escape him? By sending him to school four hours and sending him to gang 20 hours? Him if he can live on a dam down in a Manchester. That is how the rich people actually do for them children when they get out of hand. They send them to Monroe yeah. and other boarding schools. And but when they get to youth, they get out of hand. We send them back in the community. Real talk, real talk. But Mr. Comfort, let me ask you something right now. If... If you were to inherit the position of PM, do you think you would have to change and adjust to the different than you are now? Depends on how you win. If you win with money, you have to satisfy money. If you win with people, you have to satisfy people. And that is the problem. So if you're not the money in a politics, you can't win in a no matter who you are run against, you could have run against a madman. If you have money, and, and he's going to win you. Uh, that been set like that for decades. But he get crab it now because one time they used to hide and give money in the night. But now now they stand up at the, at, the, at the polling station and give the money when they are going. Because now the devil come back for him. Yeah, the devil come back for him, steak. And yeah. so, <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. so, that hand that gets smacked? If you win with money, you're gonna need to satisfy money. Mm -hmm, true that. And that's the reality. You're gonna always have to buy your way. 
So, so yeah, you have All to right. keep on. You have to keep on. All right. Crime is, crime is, listen, and we're only talking about Jamaica because... Amazing!